Okay, let's take a look. We had a question of the day that involved a simple little addition of fractions. I know adding and subtracting fractions can be really intimidating for a lot of students because it seems like it has so many steps. But this is a super simple one. So the basic principle we need to remember that has always been true and will always be in true in mathematics is we can add and subtract the same kinds of things, the same kinds of things. This is little fact is going to play itself out in two different ways in this problem. The first way is that these are what is known as mixed numbers. Mixed numbers, meaning they have a whole number portion, whole number portion, like the three in this is a whole number, and it has a fraction portion, one six. Three and one six is a mixed number. So if I go to and want to add up mixed numbers, what I need to make sure that I do is that my fractions line up with my fractions and my whole numbers add up with my whole numbers. And this is that idea, again, that we can add and subtract the same kinds of things. So that's one way this plays out, whole with whole, fraction with fraction. But that's not the only way this concept plays out. When it comes to fraction, Think of how we say a fraction. This is one-sixth. The top number, the numerator, tells us how many, but the bottom number, the denominator, tells us what kind. We have one thing of size or kind sixth. Uh, because these fractions are both sixths, I can just go ahead and add them. It's just like if I had one apple and another apple, but in this case I have one-sixth and one more sixth for a total of two-sixths. They just add because they have this, they're the same kind of thing. They have the same common denominator. We often call that in math. And then, of course, I can add these whole numbers, 3 plus 4 is 7. This problem is correct, but it's not yet done. And another thing you should know is that um, all final fraction answers should be reduced. They must be reduced, meaning if the numerator and the denominator of the fraction have any factors in common, any numbers they both divide by, you need to divide them uh, both by that same number. So 2 and 6 have a common factor. They're both divisible. They divide perfectly by 2. I'm going to divide that 2 out of both of them. Notice that that doesn't change the whole number. Only fractions reduce, not whole numbers. Um, and 2 divided by 2 is, of course, 1, and 6 divided by 2 is, of course, 3. And there is my final answer.